Welcome to the tutorial on how to create and send a campaign. A campaign is simply a saved card that you can trigger to go out to someone with one click, or a series of cards, so you don't have to keep recreating that card over and over again, but you have it saved and ready to go. Any card that you're going to send more than once, you'll want to create and send as a campaign. To create a campaign, simply hover your mouse over Main Menu and go to where it says Campaign Manager. You'll see the campaigns you've created in this list, or you can simply click on Create a New Campaign. When you do so, the first thing you'll want to do is give your campaign a name. So let's say we're going to create a birthday card for clients. So I'm going to say Birthday Clients. And then there's a place for you to verify your return address, and anything you change here will be saved for this campaign. So anytime you send this campaign to someone, this will be the return address on the card. You'll notice that step three says create your card, so we're going to do that in a second. And you'll notice that step four has all of the back panels that you've created. And if you haven't created any back panels yet, you'll want to do that under your custom branding manager. But this will allow you to choose what back you would like for this campaign. And all of the backs that you've created will be listed here. And then right under it, it will show you which campaigns you have and which custom backs you've chosen for that campaign so that you can remind yourself which ones are assigned to which campaign. So let's go ahead and select a back for this campaign. So we'll select this logo right here by checking on the green check mark. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Now if you've made some changes, you might want to go ahead and hit Save Campaign before you create your card. So I have my name, my address, and the back of my card, and now I'm going to click Create a Card for this campaign. And first it says give your card a name. You can leave this as card one or name it specifically for this particular card, like birthday, and I'm just going to hit continue. So I'm going to go into birthdays and choose a card I'd like to send for this campaign. And I can choose whether I want to send it as a postcard, a two panel, a three panel, or a big card. So I'm going to click on two panel card. Now when it comes up to the inside of my card, I can use the special feature called insert name. And this is because this card might be sent to multiple people. So I want the system to merge in their name. So I can click on insert name down here and choose from first name, first name and spouse name, last name, or spouse name. And you can use these fields in your text like dear first name, or dear first name and spouse name, or dear Mr. last name, or Mr. and Mrs. last name. However you'd like to use these fields. So I'm going to go ahead and click on first name, comma, and then I'm going to go ahead and type my message. And of course I can change the font and the size and the color, and I can add pictures and templates and elements. And once my card looks the way I'd like, I can go ahead and hit continue. Now it lets me add a gift for this campaign, which means every time I send this campaign, it would have that gift attached. So I can do that here, or I can leave it as continue without gift, and then I can always add a gift to a certain person as I go in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue Without Gift. And then it comes up to my Send screen. So, in most cases, your send date will be immediate, like if you're doing a nice to meet you card, or a thanks for the referral, or thank you. But in this case, it's a birthday card, so I want this card to be sent seven days before everyone's birthday automatically. So I'm going to make the send date birthday. And then if I have someone's birthday in my contact manager, and I send them this campaign, it will automatically trigger it to go seven days before their individual birthday. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So I'm going to make the send date birthday, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Save Card, Go Back to Campaigns. So here's our campaign called Birthday Clients with the return address. There's the card we created, and there is the custom back that we've chosen for that card that looks like this. And then it is saved and ready to go. So let's say I want to send this birthday card to a whole list of people whose birthday is coming up in July. So I can go to my main menu and click on Find a Contact. Now this lets me search for contacts, so I'm going to select under Birthday and choose July and Find Contact. This is going to pull up everybody whose birthday is in July. And now if you'll notice where it says Campaigns, I can click on that at the top and select the campaign I'd like to send them. 
So if I simply choose the birthday clients campaign that I created and hit send campaign to checked, then all eight of these people will be triggered to get that card seven days before their individual birthday. Now, if you don't have someone's birthday listed in the system, it won't pull them up when you search for it. So let's go back to our campaign list and look at other types of campaigns. You might want to make a thanks to a new client campaign or perhaps a thanks with a gift attached so you can give your campaign a name that lets you know what that card is. So let's say I'd like to add somebody to that campaign that became my client and I want to thank them. I can once again go to find a contact and I can either add a new contact in in the moment and save them and add them to the campaign or I can search for somebody that's already in there. So I can go into someone's contact and I can select at the top the campaign that I want to send them. So let's say I want to send them a thanks for all you do, just the card without the gift. I would simply select the campaign and hit send campaign and it will calculate how much it's going to cost and tell me that this will cost three points and 49 cents in postage and I would simply hit continue and that's a way to send a single card to a single recipient. So we'll go back to our campaign manager and let me show you another type of campaign. You can also have a multiple card campaign where someone is going to receive a series of cards from you automatically. So maybe a single address is going to receive a couple of cards from you throughout the year. So I'm going to go ahead into this thanks for all you do campaign and show you there's our card right there ready to go and if I wanted a second card in the series to be sent I could click on create a new card for this campaign. Now my first card was card one this will be card two and I can hit continue. Once again it takes me into the card catalog and let's say I want this card to be a just checking in card. So I can select a card that I'd like to send and again I can change the format of it to whatever I'd like. I'm going to do a two panel and once again I'd probably want to use the first name feature to be able to merge their name into the card when it's printed. So let's say I want this card to go out three months later after they get their thank you card. So I'm going to click continue, pretend we've created that card and I'm going to continue without a gift. But now when we get to the send date, instead of leaving the send date as immediate, I'm going to click on the sentence down here that says I want to specify how many days before the occasion the card will be sent. And this is going to allow me to have this card go out let's say three months after. So again it lets you choose months, days, or weeks after or before but this is going to go out three months after my other card which was immediate. So it sets a relative time date. So if I were to send someone this campaign today they'll get the first card right away and then the checking in card three months later. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save card so you can see what that looks like. So now I have a series of a two card campaign called thanks for all you do where the first card is going to go out immediately and the second card is going to go out three months later and I can continue adding cards onto that campaign as many as I would like so that your client or friend is getting a drip campaign automatically throughout the year or even ongoing based on how many cards you create here and what interval you have them set to go out. This is an amazing way to keep in touch with clients and let the system put your marketing on automatic in a really personal way. So let's say we would like to send this campaign to someone. Once again we could go to find a contact, we could search for somebody, and let's say we want this person to receive these two cards automatically. We would simply add them to our thanks for all you do campaign and hit send campaign and now it's going to let us know that this will cost six points and 98 cents because it's going to set both cards to go out the first one right away and the next one in three months but we pay for it now and the cards are set to go out in those intervals. That's an example of sending a multiple campaign to a single person. Now let's say you go to a trade show and you have 10 people that you want to send a multiple card campaign to that get your services. So you can pull up a whole group of people by simply clearing your group selection and just checking off a group of people that you want and hitting find contact. This will pull up this list of 123 people and let's say I wanted every single one of those people to get that two card campaign. I would simply select my campaigns, once again pick that campaign that has the two cards in it now and hit send campaign to checked and it's going to send the first card right away and the second card three months later 
to all 123 people. So that's an example of a multiple card campaign to multiple addresses. So once again, campaigns are a powerful way to keep in touch with people automatically. You can add people to a nice to meet you campaign, thanks for the referral, thanks to a new client, and you can create multiple card campaigns to keep in touch with people throughout the year automatically. You could send a single card to a single address, like a thank you. You can send a single card to multiple people, like a holiday card. You can send multiple cards to a single person, like having a new client get dripped on throughout the year. And you can send multiple cards to multiple people, like if you pull up a whole group and want them to get a series of cards from you. So really utilize campaigns to be in better touch with people and let the system do it for you automatically in a personal way.